In 1898, the U.S. battleship Maine mysteriously blew up in Havana Bay, touching off the Spanish-American War. When it ended, just 10 weeks later, the U.S. got control of Cuba, along with Puerto Rico and the Philippines. By 1900, the Americans were pretty well established here, including the U.S. Weather Bureau, which had an office overlooking Havana Bay. So when a hurricane developed early that September, in consultation with Washington, they issued forecasts from here. The problem was they didn't have anywhere near as much experience with hurricanes as the Cubans. They didn't ask for help, so the two forecasts were different. The storm was over eastern Cuba heading west. The question was, where would it go when it got to the warm waters of the Gulf? In La Habana, we have two forecasters the Weather Bureau forecasters and the Observatory of Belen. Forecasters of Belen uh, track the hurricane to the northwest and the Weather Bureau tracking this hurricane to the northeast. It turned out, of course, the Cuban forecasters were right. Instead of heading toward Florida where the Weather Bureau had issued warnings, the intensifying hurricane headed to the northwest toward Texas. Galveston, one of the wealthiest cities in the U.S. at the time, was destroyed, and an estimated 8,000 people died in the monstrous storm surge that swept over the city. Whether lives would have been saved if the Cuban forecast had been allowed to be sent, we can't know. The U.S. Weather Bureau had told city officials that the city was safe from hurricanes and a seawall was not needed, an idea that, like so many other things in Galveston, was wiped away by the mighty storm. And eventually, like Galveston, the relationship with Cuban forecasters was rebuilt as well. We work very well, very well. We call each other, we change our opinions. We have friends there, um, they have friends here. After Cuban independence in 1902, the U.S. Weather Bureau moved out. Now there's constant communications of meteorological information between the Cubans and the Americans so the forecasts and the data can be as good as possible for both countries. In Havana, Cuba, I'm Brian Norcross, The Weather Channel.